It's not a lot. We're in a hotel in Florida. Yeah, we are looking out the window at a lake right now. The sun is shining, yes. finally. LA has not been wanting to give us that for a long time. We escaped the LA weather. I think they're getting rain tomorrow, so. Yeah. Anyhow, we're not talking about the weather today. No. Well, uh, we're talking about a different forecast. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Yeah, it looks I like that. <laughs> the baby forecast. The baby forecast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're giving y'all an update on the past couple months and our journey and yeah. where we're headed next. Yeah, it's been quite a journey so far. Mm -hmm. Ups, downs. Less rights. Insides, outsides. And all in between. Literally. <laughs> yeah. So obviously this isn't a pregnancy announcement. Do you want me to start off? I feel like I know the details a little a little better than Cole does. Yeah, I do my best, but mm -hmm. this no, stuff's you, complicated. It is. You do know a lot though. Thank okay. you. <laughs> so for starters, Cole and I, if you haven't seen our last update, check it out because we talk a lot about our fertility treatments and or starting fertility treatments so if you haven't seen that go back and watch that so you can have some of those questions answered so we don't have to really re-explain why we're, we're doing fertility treatments mm -hmm. but we started IUI in January so we did our mm -hmm. first round of IUI in January yeah it was quite an experience I uh I had to watch charisma take a bunch of like pills and stuff yes um, which was easy yeah, that part that part was easy i guess yeah sorry i'm getting ahead of myself but that that's where we started with the pills yes and what um, kind of pills letrozole good job babe. Yes. i remembered and how many days did i have to take it like 10 days five oh awesome. that was my second guess i believe it was five <laughs> i think five to seven so i took letrozole so that i could produce or help grow my follicles faster mm -hmm. so that you know each follicle has an egg so i can potentially release more eggs so that more eggs can be fertilized increasing our chances yeah so i did letras offer five days i believe it was right after i stopped my period i started letras all mm -hmm. and then i went in for ultrasounds to monitor mm -hmm. my follicle growth and we got great results yes everything we we had lots of eggs yes and they were all on the the good side. Yes. So that bode that boded well for us. That mm -hmm. meant that that was a good month for us. Mm -hmm. So today is trigger day or trigger night. It is 11 p.m. and I have to give myself a trigger shot to force ovulation. Pretty much, I have three good follicles, and so we're gonna do it. And they told me to do it in the thigh. I know some people do it in like the abdomen. But I heard it hurts less in your thigh, and I would think it would hurt less in my thigh than in my stomach. So anyways, we're gonna get that done today. Here we go, I'm excited to get it going. Here it is, the syringe. And then they gave me two needles just in case I dropped one. So she said to like get the bubbles out, and I've seen them do this. Is that what you do? Well, you have to put the needle on, and then flick it. Oh, then... so take this off first? I think so. I think, I've never actually done this. I've seen it in movies though. Here's the needle in here. Okay. Push this down in here. It's in there. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm not so nervous. Why? Because I'm giving myself a needle and you're like worried it out by it? I don't like needles now, so just don't want to mess it up. So I got a little droplet there that came out. All right, and then you pinch your thigh. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. Yeah. Oh, that was nothing. I literally like felt nothing. I felt a lot. I don't know. I mean, the first time I've ever given myself a shot, I did okay, I think. Yeah. We did it, we triggered. Right. Okay. I'm feeling triggered right it, now. Cole is like dizzy right now because he's so weird about needles. But anyways, it did not hurt at all. It was super simple. I'm done bleeding. Um, I definitely think you should put pressure on your leg after doing it because the liquid literally started coming out of my leg. All right. We did it. Triggered. We're triggered. Those, those follicles are ready, ready to go now. Woo. I just got to. Yeah, next step is to get Cole's swimmers um, Thursday morning and then. And We're, we'll film that in detail for you all. Yeah, I'm sure you'd want to see that. Um, and then they wash it and then an hour later they put it in me. So 
Nice. Okay, so I did my um, trigger shot last night, and I have a little bruise here. I don't know if you can see it well, but I have a little bruise there. And um, so this morning I wanted to make sure that I did it right, and so I took a pregnancy test to check my HCG levels, which you can't really tell, but it came back positive, which means I have HCG in my blood and I'm gonna be ovulating soon, so it's doing its job. I did it right, so I'm happy about that. I also took an LH test, which is also positive, so it means I'm gonna ovulate soon. So I'm really, really excited about tomorrow and how that's gonna go, so I'll keep you posted. Yay! We're here. This is it. We're the doing- The first round. Are you ready, babe? The first and only round, because we're doing one and done. That's right. Um, like doing IUI, we're so excited. I'm so excited. Yay. Here we go, man. We're doing do great. Thank you. I believe in you. Thank you. No, mama. no mama. I believe in our swimmers. <laughs> cool swimmers. Everything's set up. Here's the room. The instruments. And now I gotta get dressed. Undressed. Yes, undressed. Okay, we just finished, and I am laying down. And that was so easy, so painless. I yeah, mean, you didn't feel anything, did you? No, I barely felt a thing. I wasn't even uncomfortable, honestly. So it went really well. He did amazing. He, I think he was just good at what he does that I just didn't feel anything. So how do you feel? I feel good. I mean, I watched everything that was going on. It's zoop. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, it's all right. Everything's right where it needs to be. So now we just uh, we let them do their thing. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very happy. Chris and I were a little concerned this morning about volume. Um, and if we got a good specimen, he came in and told us that it was a great specimen. So, well, he didn't say great, he said good. But uh, anyway, that makes us feel even better. Um, this could be it, babe. It will be it, what do you mean this could? It will be it, I'm Let's so it. pumped. Yay! I think that in hindsight, we had greater idea of our chances. Once we like did a little more research and like, Kind of educated ourselves because we feel like we weren't necessarily like told explicitly what like the percentages would be like we were kind of throwing a bunch of numbers the percentages was pretty low for us specifically yeah yeah so we were very hopeful even though the percentage was very low and so it was kind of a bummer when it didn't work yes so the first round actually was our best round in january because i only had eggs and follicles on the right side mm -hmm. of my the right fallopian, the right uterus slash fallopian tube. Anyways, that's the good side. My left side, unfortunately, isn't functioning well or correctly. Uh -huh. So I don't have like that fallopian tube. It's just not a good functioning fallopian tube. Sure, I could potentially get pregnant on that side, but the risk of having an ectopic pregnancy is much higher. So it was perfect that my right. right side was, it only had the follicles. So we had three and they were great size and Cole's um, post sperm wash was actually around like almost 5 million, which is the minimum that they want. But unfortunately it's the minimum. And so it's just not a very high chance when it's at the minimum. Oftentimes the first time doesn't work. So we did another month yeah. in February. This time I did injections. Instead of letrozole pills, I did Folistem injections to mm, produce even more eggs. And that's why I said I was getting ahead of myself because that was the part that was hard to watch her go through was all the injections and stuff. Mm -hmm. She didn't complain about it, but I mean, you're literally injecting yourself with like hormones and mm -hmm. all the stuff that, you know, has an effect on you. I did complain about it. She did complain. <laughs> um. <laughs> it made me so emotional. It made me so tired. I just felt like absolute crap. And it didn't necessarily result in like greater chances because we had like basically the same amount of eggs. I had one more, so I had four on the right, but then I had three on the left, which right. were useless. So more eggs overall, but uh -huh. on the side that we needed them, it was pretty much the same amount. Mm -hmm. We just happened to get lucky the month before. So what also did not help was this time my specimen was not as good. Mm -mm. I we came out with a lot less for some reason. It's like a million. I don't I don't get the science of all that, but it seemed like I should have had more than I had based on the the previous month. Yeah, but, but sperm fluctuates. We know that because like I I yeah. did my research on other people going through it and them talking about their husband's sperm post wash and it always fluctuates. It, okay. 
<laughs> so they didn't just lose a bunch of them. No, I think it just, you just didn't have a ton of great sperm. But what if I want to believe that? <laughs> you can believe that if you want. <laughs> In any case, the doctor was more clear this time when he was like, I was like, so is it like a good specimen? He's like, well, I wouldn't say good. Yeah. I was like, I was sad. Yeah. When we got the results back that that was not successful, that one hit me pretty hard. I thought you, you got more emotional the first time, I thought. Was it the first time? Yeah. Oh, I think it, yeah, you're right. It was the first time because I saw her going through it and I didn't want her to have to go through it again. Yeah. I think it was the second time too. In, in any case, <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's just a lot and uh, it, to put ourselves through a lot for something that has such a low chance of success Yeah, is um, not only like emotionally taxing, but mm -hmm. also financially taxing as well But it was our decision the doctor said we could go straight into IVF and we knew we could he never stopped us from doing that He never said try IUI first. Mm -hmm. He told us our chances we knew our chances were lower than the average person's chances who someone has normal sperm count and then, you know, two tubes to work with. And it's just unexplained infertility. But we just were hopeful that it would work and we wouldn't have to go down the IVF route. So we just decided we'll do it twice. If it doesn't work, we'll move straight into IVF. So that's where we are now. Yes. We are at the point where we're taking the next step Mm -hmm. past IUI to something that is more expensive, more invasive, mm -hmm. but the chances are really strong. Oh my gosh, it's like 80%. So we're so. super hopeful for that. But mm -hmm. I will go back and talk about our emotions during IUI. It was very hard, it was very emotionally taxing, it was ve very draining. This is the first month right now that I'm not doing any hormones or anything. We just didn't do anything this month. Mm -hmm. And I crashed hard. Like. I was just so emotional. I went through such a low this past week and I just couldn't do anything. I slept all day. I just felt horrible emotionally. So I'm honestly super nervous about doing IVF, not because of the injections. Needles don't bother me. What bothers me is the effect that it has on my body and I just don't like it, but we want our own biological baby and I don't think there's anything wrong with having a biological baby even if we adopt and foster in the future I think it's okay to want to bring your own baby into the world it is a bummer and it does suck having to go through this extra work to have a baby but also very thankful that this is a possibility yeah mm -hmm. grateful for the technology yeah. grateful for the means to do it we're, yes. we're blessed in that way mm -hmm. and trying to kind of recoup that excitement that we had and yeah. let fade a little bit but right now we're most excited about getting on this boat with the family yes. and uh having a good time soaking up some sun that'll be good for our health and fertility mm -hmm. <laughs> i i think i was like just really down in dumps too just not being around family and you know moving away is hard and i think we have our moments but yeah i am looking forward to IVF in this new journey. I think I'm very hopeful for this. Very, very, very hopeful. Well, we have every reason to be. It's a good yeah. chance it's gonna work. Great chance. I have such good quality eggs and a lot of it. He literally calls me an egg factory every time. And so that's really good for us when it comes to IVF. And you don't even, the freaking Philippine tubes don't even matter. And then with Cole, he has more than enough sperm for IVF. He has plenty, he yeah. just doesn't have enough for IUI. We are amazing candidates for IVF yeah like we're, we're both the ideal perfect IVF candidates yeah I wouldn't say perfect but <laughs> maybe, not, maybe not perfect but we have by far everything we need yeah for it to work we do it's just I wish we had everything we needed for it to work naturally <laughs> which it did um and I'm gonna take a pregnancy test I just I have that gut feeling so I'm gonna take one and and see what it says I'm nervous to look. I don't even know if it's ready yet. I feel like it hasn't been that long. Three minutes and 40 some seconds. I'll wait till it's four and a half minutes and then I'll look. Let's see. Don't get your hopes up and don't be disappointed, Charisma. Well. Okay. No, it's subtle. There's a very, I swear. I swear there's a subtle line. There's seriously a faint line. Holy crap. Okay, I have to do another one. I just don't believe it. I did two because I was like, I'm going to do two. But I swear there's a faint line. It is so faint. Can you come look at something? 
What is this? Look at it. Pregnancy? Uh-huh. Can you see the lines? Look. <laughs> Wait. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no way. Yeah. We did it! Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> wow. You're gonna be a dad. <laughs> We're having a kid. Oh, I can't, nobody can hear. Charisma's like, you gotta keep it secret for a while. I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go ahead and tell everyone now. No way. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, I can't believe we freaking did it. Yeah. We just worked fun. for it for so long. <laughs> I'm so uh, excited. I don't want to work today. I know. We got to get a couple things done, but I know. I just, just want to like celebrate. I know, same. Oh my gosh. Everything just changed. <laughs> we think, you know, one of those bad sperm got into the egg, and then that's what tried to implant because it was such a bad sperm in the egg chromosomally wasn't great, mm -hmm. it didn't implant. And so that's what happened. Or it somehow happened. got to the egg on the bad side and wasn't able to implant. Yeah, whatever the case may be, we're, we're here now, so now we mm -hmm. get to forge ahead. It's so hard not to become calloused about the whole thing. Yeah, because you get I have been, I am. I have been, I know. sorry, go ahead. And I don't really, you know, it's such a, an exciting, special, amazing thing that I don't want to be callous to it. But it's just like at some point you have to protect yourself. Yeah. <laughs> But that's why I said I'm trying to recoup that a bit, and you know, I'm yeah. trying to trying to get back into the mindset because mm -hmm. this time, I think we can attach these emotions because we have such a strong chance. Yeah, and you know it's interesting. You just have to go through infertility to really understand these emotions because you have you know we're all about staying positive and seeing the bright side, but also it's okay to feel those emotions and it hurts and it's really painful and it really sucks. My biggest dream in life is to be a mom, and so to not get that constantly over and over and over again is so exhausting. If people say, just relax, it'll happen. You know, the more you're stressed out, the less the chance it'll happen. And it's just like, <laughs> you so know, easy to say. it is so easy to say. And I know it comes from a caring place in people's heart, but it also kind of diminishes what you're going through when you tell someone, oh, just don't stress about it. It will happen. And it's like, you know. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. I know. I should have just been doing that the whole time. I know. And I, it's yeah. easier said than done. And so anyone who's going through infertility, it's okay to stress. It's okay to cry about it. It's okay to be bummed. Like, I don't know how many times or if you've ever heard that, but coming from us. It's okay to be what? what? Bumped? Bummed. Oh, bummed. I thought you said bumped. I was like, I don't know that I saying. I mean, I would yeah. love a bump, yeah. Yeah, that's, I was like, that's what we're going for. <laughs> no, but seriously, if you haven't heard that from anyone, I hope it, hearing it from us means a lot because that's what we need to hear from people is yeah. it's okay to hurt. It's okay to feel these emotions because they're real and you don't have to run away from it and you don't have to hide from them. Of course it's going to happen for us. Of course we're going to have our moment and we know mm -hmm. that. Um, but right now we're just in such an in-between where it's, it's hard to get excited when it, we're not there yet. That excitement will return yeah. once, you know, the game day arrives. Yes, I think we're still recovering from the two failures that just happened. Yeah. And so we, we got to get over that hump before I think we can get truly excited about IVF. What? We got to get over the hump uh -huh. before you get your baby bump. That's good, babe. Yeah. I like that. That was All right. good. <laughs> so we're starting it, or like, once we get back and start the house renovations, it's going to be the round similar time to when we are ready to start and we want to share the journey with you all so we're going to share the journey i don't know if we're going to share it right away if we're going to wait a little bit we're still talking about that but we yeah. want to share our journey with you all because we were super secretive about iui we were secretive about iui even from our family like really no one knew only a handful of people who are also going through fertility treatments knew i think we want to be more open about ivf because I found comfort in other couples' story when it comes to their IVF journey, mm -hmm. and I want to hopefully be that comfort for others. So yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. For that. Well, you too, though. You're sharing it too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's your body, so. <laughs> yours too. We okay. need your sperm. <laughs> That's true. 
Perfect. No, I'm excited. And I'm excited that Shane and Hannah are also going through the same thing as us. Yeah. We have bonded. I swear, Hannah and I text all the time, and that's like our conversation. <laughs> that's like one of the main things <laughs> is just talking about that. And so that is yeah. so refreshing to have someone seriously going through it at the same time. You know? Having support is so important, which is, yeah, that's why we want to talk about the IVF, like with our families yeah. and like, be less secretive because it's going to be even more demanding because it's a more aggressive treatment. So yeah. we need that support. Yeah. We definitely need it. And we know our family wants to be there. We of just, course. We need of to course. stop being so freaking secretive. I know. I know. And it's this whole idea. Don't tell anyone you're pregnant until the second trimester because of the loss. And I'm like, yeah. no, I want to tell my family I'm pregnant. And if I lo we lose our baby, then I want our family support. I've learned so much being so far away from our family. It's, it's better just to share everything. Exactly. They can't support without knowing. Yeah, so if you're pregnant and you're like trying to wait until the second trimester because of the whole miscarriage thing and because that's what society has said for so many years, share when you're ready. If it's never, if it's after the baby's yeah. born, if it's when you're 10 weeks pregnant, share whenever you're ready. This whole idea that you have to wait to the second trimester, it's up to you. Your body, yeah. your choice. <laughs> well, that's our update. That's where we are now. Yeah. Even more like present right now, we're about to get onto a boat. Yeah. So. We have to pack up everything, go get our health check done, and then meet what meet up with the whole fam. Yay! To go cruising. I'm so excited. We need this. Yeah. We need this. We need this. So yeah, we'll obviously have a video about our fun cruise adventures. There you go. That's we'll, that. We'll keep you updated. Fertility <laughs> is gonna be a huge part of our lives, guys. Um, we're gonna be talking about it a lot. And if this is not your cup of tea, I'm sorry, but just <laughs> it's coming. It's a big part of our lives. And if you followed the other parts of our lives, hopefully you'll follow this part too. Yes. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all of you. Yes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and, and stay, stay positive. positive. Woo!